welcome to another edition of MobileMacService.com for YouTube. Today we're going to go over the different users and groups and what they all mean and how we can set a user up. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into System Preferences, which is either down here or via the Apple Menu System Preferences. And that's going to pop this up. The next thing we want to do is go to Users and Groups. And let's say I want to add a new user in here. So let's go ahead and click Add. And I'm going to call this a test user. And you essentially you have Administrator, Standard, Managed with Parental Controls, or Sharing Only. And you can also create different groups if you want. But for the purpose of this, we're just going to use, we're just going to do a standard user and nothing more. And we're going to put a password in for them. We're going to call, uh, just put test in for the password. And we're going to hit create user. So basically what we want to do here, let's go ahead and look at a couple things here. If I want this user, the test user, to be an administrator, I'll click on allow user to administer this computer. The difference between an administrator and a non-administrator standard user is the administrator is allowed to install and remove applications from the applications folder as well as being able to make system-wide changes um, for the various users. A non-administrator basically gets to use the computer and that's pretty much it. But let's go ahead and let's click on uh, enable parental controls. Let's take a look in there real quick. Let's see what we got. And for parental controls, you do have to be an administrator for obvious reasons. Let's go ahead and put that in. And here we have several things here. You can allow or not allow them to use the camera. Allow or not allow them to use Game Center. Allow them or not allow them to add Game Center friends. You can limit mail to allowed contacts only. You can also limit applications on this Mac, which would only allow them to open certain applications. So if we go ahead and click on there, let's go ahead and click on other apps. And we can go down. Let's say we want this individual to be able to open Angry Birds. We don't want them to open the App Store. They can use the calculator, calendar, contacts. And we can keep scrolling down here. Let's see. Yeah, and everything else looks pretty good. So basically, that's just going to allow them to do things or not do things. But let's go ahead and click on web. And let's see what we have in web here. Try to limit access to adult sites. Unrestricted access to websites. Only allow certain websites. So let's try to limit access to adult websites and click customize. You can always allow certain websites or never allow these websites, which is a pretty good deal. And you just click add and then put type in your URL and the person would not be able to get to that website. Let's go ahead and click on stores. You can disable iTunes, iBooks, music with explicit content, movies that are, you can choose which rating they are, they're allowed to download. TV shows. Once again, select the rating they want that they can use. And apps that are designed for 4 plus, 9 plus, 12 plus, or 17 plus. As well as restrict books with explicit adult content. And here you can set the time. So you can say, hey, they're only allowed to use this computer for an hour a day. Or you can set it down to a half hour a day if you want. You can set week, weekend li time limits as well. On the weekend, they're only allowed to use the computer for two hours a day. And bedtime prevents them from using the computer at any time other than what you want. So they will not be able to log in from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. And let's go ahead and click on Privacy. And 
Okay? In privacy, basically, this allows you to um, allow different applications to be open for different things. So, for example, maybe a Google Map or something like that, or an Apple Map, I should call it, would open up in contacts, calendars, whatever. You can actually say, you know what, I don't want these to open it. And that way they will not have access to it. And you can click on Manage Privacy here. And basically you can go through and you can say what you want and don't want them to have access to. And let's click on Other. And here you can actually disable a certain printer, block them from CD or DVD burning, prevent dot, their dock from being modified, and you can also give them a simple, a simple finder. So that's basically how Users and Groups works. It's a pretty good deal. Pretty straightforward. Um, it can get more detailed the more detailed you get. And we will get more detailed into the networking side of things in the future. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Another thing you can do too, if you click on Login Options, you can click on Auto Login. And you can choose which account is going to auto login. And you can also say you want a list of users or you want to require a name and password. You can show these buttons here, sleep, restart, and shutdown, input menu and login window, password hints, as well as fast user switching menu, which is up here on the upper right. You can also use voiceover for login. So I hope this video is helpful to you. We're going to be uh, going more detailed into this in the network environment uh, in the future. Uh, for more mag tips and tricks, please feel free to subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to talking to you in the future. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Bye-bye.